Hi, my name is Randy Hemingway and I'm the Product Development Manager for the PowerEdge C6100 here at Dell. Today we're going to demonstrate the web GUI and IKBM features of the, uh, of the C6100. Uh, in order to start using the, the web GUI and the IKBM, first you need to set up the network settings for, for your machine. In order to do that, you need to enter the BIOS setup utility of the C6100 by pressing F2 during post. Once you enter the BIOS setup utility, you will toggle over to the server tab and set the BMC NIX IP address mode to either shared or dedicated. If you have if you have a network cable connected to the dedicated port of a machine, you can you can access the BMC through the dedicated port. In this case, we're connected via the NIC1 port, so we have the setting set to shared. Once you, once you have that set, you go into the set LAN configuration tab and set your IP address source for the BMC to either DHCP or static if you want to enter, enter a static IP address. In this case, we're, we're going to obtain our IP address via DHCP. Under the IP address tab is where you would either enter your static address or where you can view the IP address that has been assigned by the DHCP server. This is our IP address for the BMC 10.208.62.28. Once you have the IP address, you can open a web browser and enter the, the IP address that you got from System Setup. And at this point, the BMC firmware will launch a Java app, which will allow you to log into the BMC and enter the web GUI. Okay, so this is the this is the web GUI. Uh, on the main page of the web GUI, it shows you the system power status, uh, firmware versions for the BMC firmware and various other information. Uh, there are several tabs in the web GUI. Under the server help tab, you can view the sensor readings and you can also view the system event log. Under the configuration tab, you can configure you can configure alerts, SNMP traps, that type of uh, thing. Under the remote control tab, you can use the remote console or console redirection feature, which we also refer to as IKVM, or power control. Uh, under power control, you can reset the server, you can shut the server down, uh, power cycle the server, various, various uh, different methods of resetting the server. Uh, under, the, under the maintenance tab, you can update the firmware remotely. Um, so if you click on the enter update mode, it would take you to another screen where you specify, in this case we do not want to, but where you would specify a uh, location on your local machine that has the, the firmware that you want to update to and then it would transfer the firmware to the remote machine and update on the remote machine. So we're going to go back to the remote control tab and demonstrate the IKVM. To launch a IKVM you click on the console redirection button and then once you get to this page, click on the Java console button. Once you click on the Java console button, it will launch a Java viewer window, which gives you access to the remote machine. So in this case, we're seeing exactly what is on the machine that we're remotely connected to. So at this point, we'll switch back over to the, uh, to the server power control tab, um, and we'll go ahead and reset the server. Uh, just to demonstrate that, uh, that the connection remains intact across resets and uh, we can actually view the system going through post. So here we're back to the Java Viewer window which is, which is showing the machine actually uh, going through its reboot cycle and posting. Um, so that's, the, that's our demonstration of IKVM and the web GUI on C6100. If you would like to learn more, you can visit our BMC user's guide at support.dell.com.